Tiny Tom says, I'm having severe analysis paralysis with this game. Which way to go next? I Nicky I Hill's mean, worst nightmare. I, he lives it. It took me forever to get off that that's out of that first section because uh Wait, is that I, the same I as was just kind of wandering around paralysis. and taking my yeah, yeah. sweet time been, and then I like I went one I've direction been experiencing and that then too. I went a different direction and I think I went back the same way and I didn't know that I went There's there no already. pressure. Nothing happened. I don't understand I why do whatever you want, especially because you just finished Breath of the yeah. Wild. So this shouldn't be like a like confusing to you. Like you do, you know you no, do whatever you want. Scope, it's huge. So well, here's the sure. other thing. You look around and you're like, "Holy moly." I will say with Breath of the Wild, I was so wowed by just an open world Zelda. With this, you have the land from the past game, which has been greatly changed from what I've seen so far. And I've seen a tiny bit. Um, but then you have the sky and the underground. So I haven't been like petrified in the sense that I don't know what to do or where to go because I can do whatever I want and go wherever I want. <clears throat> but I have been like like shell shocked by the scope of what there is to do. I'm like, there's so much. And I thought breath of the wild had a lot and it did, but this is, this is like triple that at least double that. So what well, already thing... in like the first part too, like within the yeah. first yeah. part of the game, it's, you're just, you got all these new abilities and you're like, Oh my God, this is really something. Yeah. So for, especially early on <clears throat> before you get any abilities and stuff, the problem for me is like I'm exploring and I'm seeing things and I don't have tools to get past certain areas. So I'm just kind of like, I'm curious I'm like, about what? that. What tools don't you have? Cause I maybe... didn't have any of the, I didn't go to the shrines yet. I was walking around trying oh, to get the very beginning, of trying the to get to shrines. And I was walking around and I like, I'm like, Oh, what's over here. Oh, this is cool. And, and th you know, people are talking to me about how to do things. And I'm like, I don't know how to do that. How do you're not telling me how to do it. How do I do it? And it's because I didn't have that ability yet. So like I'm walking wow. around feeling only like Nikki Hill, right? Only Nikki Hill. Why? Why only Amazing. me? I don't There's, know. We don't know. We, we don't, don't know. know. We don't know. <laughs> no, I mean, like, here's the thing. I got to the I got to the one building where the guy's like, "Hey, you got to go to three temples first. You so know, you went deal. to the three temples. And like the guy, and the guy even says, "Like here, I'll have the camera pan over at the first temple." Like so, I went to there the first is, temple. There like, is a very know. unique like camera moment. But I on top of that, like straight to it. But Nikki I was Hill, I did the same thing you did, and you know what? It brought me joy. I don't know. Like I went there. I went to places where I couldn't do anything. No, I'm, I'm like, not, I'm not like stressed. It's just like I see things, and. I'm glad you can drop stamps and stuff because like, otherwise it's so huge. I would, I would lose it and I would never get back to that place that I was. So like, it's kind of like, a, Oh man, this is cool, but I can't do it. This isn't a Metroidvania game. Like I don't want to have to keep coming back to all these little, little so don't, but there's something to break open there and I can't break so it. So this open. is your own internal torture that you're doing. It, don't go. It's, it's tough that do you, only the main story. It's tough that you don't want to do it, but you want to know, you know, cause like for me, if I want to know, then I want to do it. I want to explore. That's what it's about. So yeah. So, so you're, you're you explore and then you're upset with what you find. But I can't explore because I didn't have that. Now, now I'm a little bit better because I, I know that I have a tool to utilize. I think it was just you were starting to explore a little too early. You should have just yeah, gotten Yeah, but I gotten did the same like thing. Like when you start and uh, what's his face is like, what's his name? Raru? Raru. He's like, go over here. I was like, see you later, asshole. And went the other way. I'm like, I'm not going where you're telling. I, I walked that whole thing like. And I mean walk. I didn't run it. I was like, I'm walking and I'm taking all of it in. I'm flipping over rocks and I'm climbing trees. And I'm grabbing apples and I'm like, here's something. Uh, I could probably need something to get up there or do this thing. And then eventually after, I don't know, what, two and a half hours of just not. <laughs> What's with these giant coat hangers? Not the everywhere? whole like beginning thing. Just like the first where you fall into the lake. I scoured that whole thing and I was like, all right, now I'll go get the thing. And then I went back and did the stuff that I saw that I couldn't get and then you drop down a little lower onto the much bigger place. And I was like, oh, I'm going to do it again. I walked around the whole thing and looked at everything. And there was like something I couldn't get. And I'm like, oh, I know I'll get an ability to get that. And I dropped a pin, like you said, just exploring and going a million different places. And there's so much. And I, I can't express enough the feeling of joy I get from having so much to do and no pressure to do any of it. Just go where, like, I'm going to be playing this game for months without, not probably not, but close to a month without even touching the main story. I, 
I have a part in the main story where it's like, there's these four places you should go and that's will help you find out what's up with Zelda. And I'm like, this is my breaking point. This is where I'm like, okay, now I'm definitely not doing any more story and I'm going I d- I'm out wherever. the same way. I got to, I did the one thing that I had to do to get the final thing that's going to help me get yeah. around. And then I was I like, I think we can talk about like the things that you get. I, I appreciate you taking that, yeah. but like the abilities that links, well, Link gets, we can talk about that. If anybody is listening that hasn't watched any trailers, or any anything link is in it definitely don't be listening to this because i didn't i didn't watch anything i think i saw one thing i had no idea that we can say the things that you use your arm like your hand is whatever like that happened in the very beginning and i was like oh this is what i'm using you had no idea anything happened with links i'm telling you that shirt has the design didn't you watch like the trailer they put out like three years ago or two and a half years ago? I mean, I, if I did, I don't did remember it. And I didn't think okay. that it was, it was also without the context of knowing what I did in breath of the wild, because I hadn't oh, played yeah, that okay. yet. I'll give you that. I'll and give you so that. like the Nintendo is selling a, a long sleeve shirt that has like the arm is like gold and stuff and it glows in the dark. And I got That's into the great. game and the very That's beginning so cool. there's, Link's got this glowing hand with like you know. Yeah, and I saw the uh, the New York City bus that's wrapped. That with bus that, is and amazing. Like, it, it, that, cool bus is that bus is the coolest bus. I would feel so bad if I was the wrap company and I had to put a different wrap on there because you know I had to yeah. change it out. Nintendo's like, done uh, other buses where I'm like, oh, that's cool, whatever. This bus I saw and I was like, awesome. that's amazing. That bus is so cool looking. Uh, so wow, I, so I did cool. not know, and. I enjoyed it. Well, yeah, I I, like, I agree with Nikki Hill. Surprise. Definitely don't eat. Like, we're not going to spoil anything big, but it's so great just going in there with nothing. Like, I didn't read that 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 book that dropped. You know, like I that didn't spoiler either, yeah. book. See, I didn't the, see only, any of that. The stuff, stuff about the hand, I had a good idea of. Well, there's the trailers leading up to it, obviously. But um, the thing uh, when Nintendo put out their art book for Breath of the Wild. There's references to something happening to Link's arm, uh, cut ideas that they didn't use. And I was like, oh, this is going to, they're going to go back to this, I would imagine, at some point. So it's been there for years, but I get it. If you're going in, like the first trailer, you see arm related stuff, but you don't get like the moves that you're doing and everything. You get a hint of something's up. But yeah, I, I get it. Um, So there's Ultra Hand, there's Ascend, there's um the Turn Back Time one, whatever that's called, Rewind, I Rewind. guess. And then there's, um, uh, uh, fuse for fusing weapons together, and between those four, I think you can do anything. <laughs> well, you could do pretty much anything to everyone and anything. It's made. I'm a in Breath of the Wild. I was a huge stamina guy. I had three circles of stamina before I even had a fourth heart. And this game is is kind of like you don't even. I mean, stamina is nice, but like it it seems like stamina takes a back seat because there's just a lot of ways to get around. And I have a feeling that once I get deeper into the game and get stronger and stuff, stamina will be even less of a, yeah. uh, of a, like a thing to get in the way. I mean, I like climbing a lot, so I'll probably still, you know, Oh yeah. I'm try to, oh, I've been I'm, climbing stuff. I'm, yeah, get, I don't get all yeah. the stamina rings. I can, I don't I, think I'm going to do well because I, I can't think my way through building things. Well, as do and I were saying, I've seen a ton of TikToks. Uh, I was on TikTok last night and my algorithm knows I'm into the Nintendo. So it showed me a ton of Zelda stuff, but it was showing me how people solved problems. And some of them were spots that I was in. And I'm like, they're thinking in such a different way yeah. that I would never even begin to contemplate the way that they've chosen. I would just to feel embarrassed this. like watching those. And I'm like, like I'm this so, is amazing. It would feel so uncreative. So I got a great example of this. I got a great question for all of you because we've all done it. I want to see how we did it. The snow, uh, the the shrine you go to in the snow, you know, um, it's up on a mountain and you have to figure out a way to I get up on there. so easily. That was I've, the easiest thing for me. I want to know how you all got up there. <laughs> I don't remember. I chopped, you know, I chopped down, I chopped down like four trees and I, and I made you them like a big it. long ladder and I just climbed up this. I skipped like an entire okay, section of the so mountain. So you and I did the exact that. same thing. I stuck together. And then a whole I did bunch it again trees. after that shrine. There's another bit and I did it again yeah. and and I skipped it's the, the whole shrine where you get a sand. huge section. You get a sand I, yeah. I did make at least one like ladder out of logs. I don't know if it was in that particular spot or yeah, just, or, you, or you got up there a different way altogether. Yes. There's a lake. I went across the lake and, and just walked. 
what in the no. snow up in the snow yeah There's, no 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 the 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 where the shrine is is up higher than everything else yeah i don't remember <laughs> you just did it you know because the water there if you jump in the water you die no oh, yeah i, I, I did a, that I, there was a there's like a pond yes i made a boat went across that and i just walked that's up the, the first shrine i'm talking about the one or that's the second shrine in i'm talking snow. about after that there's a really no the you're talking about the really long body of water that you have to go across to get to a shrine in the snow when you get up into the snow there's a, there's a pond that I figured I can't go into that water. I don't know. I don't know where we were talking. Did you about. have to eat like hot food to like that's oh, I, how cold the you first were thing that I did pond? once I once I collected a little bit of food, I was like, well, there's a snow area right there. So I made a bunch of hot stuff and it gave me like 12 minutes of whatever. And I was wow. going walking around. I already have snow pants. Mm -hmm. Um oh man, he's he, see, I got the I snow got pants, the pants after, after the shrine. Yeah, me too. Yeah, oh, we, no, we all I got went them like a different way. Wow, That's so funny. you went a whole different you way. Went probably yeah. the pro the way they probably want you to go. And I don't, I don't know. I, I honestly went like the same way. I can't. Went a different way. Who knows? My memory no, sucks. We were skipping. But like, we the I don't think I, think I did I anything skipping. crazy. I walked because I walked around that outside. And then you get to the waterfall that's down to the next portion. And there's another waterfall down. And you can't go in the water because it's cold. I was like, how do I get up here? And I was like, I got to build something to get up here, I guess. And that's what I did. Yeah, but you would have come from the place you were building up to if you had done it the way that he did it. So you wouldn't have to go back the way you I'd have come. To see and you'd already have the pants because you get the pants when you climb up there. I guess. I guess so. Yeah. The snow was the very first thing, like not the shrine, because obviously I was told to go to shrines and I was like, try. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but the very first thing I did was walk around in the snow and there were um enemies that were freezing me Ooh, oh, the spoon. there were enemies that started freezing me and i'm like i'm out of here can't handle this um <laughs> i was waiting for somebody <laughs> to do that but yeah i uh i don't know i don't know or some milk about. in there all right and I have like to see cereal. so then let's go to the other shrine the here's one that the, is wait, the here's big the question can i fast travel back to the sky to any shrine yeah, any yeah. shrine if you've then, been to then it I'd, then I'd you have can to, travel then, to it so I'd you, have to see it. Again he teaches you to fast travel right. for the fourth yeah. shrine, right. and you do that up there. So you should be good. Right? No, no. I just didn't know if I can fast Anywhere. travel up. Yep. Oh, any from the ground, uh, I believe any town Probably. as well. I haven't tried, but I'd imagine yes. I've done it. Yes. You I can. also thought okay. I broke the game because I ascended near a ledge, and I was like, "Oh, I'm in, I'm in the nowhere." Mm. So the first shrine, I guess, the second shrine. Where you get another ability, it is across that big body of water. Did everybody make a raft to get across that? Like you put your fan on the back of the raft and go across the water? Yeah, I I mean that's the part that I saw in that trailer. Yeah. So that's, I yeah, I was same. kind of just thinking. Have that. you seen what people have done online? I haven't. No. Someone built like a twenty log by log pathway. Like they stuck together <laughs> twenty logs long ways. <laughs> And like picked it up, picked up the giant thing in the air and just dropped it across the whole body wow. of water and walked across it. So our See, way was much quicker. But if you want yeah, to be that's crazy the, like that, that's the thing. Do I don't that. think I have the patience to fuse that many logs together. Here you go, Highland Tom. I did the same thing. Big log bridge ladder for the win. There you go. Yeah. I, you know, I, there were times where I was like, it's going to take some work to build what's in my head. And like, I was like, I don't know if I want to do this. And I did it. And when I, when I, when it like worked, it was so worth all that work. You know, it was so, there was such a satisfying sense of, yeah. and the fact that you, it's so, it's so easy, but you still feel like you're making something unique. Yes. Also, um, there is a thing that you can get that remembers your builds. So I as long as you have the items, like recipes. As long I'm as you have what's needed to build it, it'll build it the for you. The very first thing you make, they're like, logged in your recipes. And I'm like, great. There's a recipe book. I also like that you can. Oh, I didn't even pay attention you to can the recipe access, book thing. I got to get into that. You can act. Well, I mean, it's for a purpose, but you can access your items, your inventory directly from where you are. So you can just drop, you know, flint or something. You don't have to go into your inventory, search for it, find it. You can sort things, which is a huge like yeah, help. It is. Um, and I love. I think the one thing that I love most out of anything is the fusing. The fact that like it's you just you, you you just get arrows 
you don't get to, you know different kinds maybe you yeah. do later on or something whatever kind like, of arrow boom, you want fuse you it, got boom. It. like i'll do whatever i want yeah the key side ball i was shooting spicy and peppers at, at things and it did nothing but i was i can but do there it. is the flame flower that does something or right. the bomb arrow that does something or um yeah i've used the i love the bow and arrow in general so i'm using that all the time but i'm using all kinds of different combinations just to see what they do and there's some great ones um also speaking of fusing have you fused a bomb to a shield. No. Fuse a bomb to a shield. Then uh, like drop in on a circle of enemies and shield surf. Oh, man. So when you hit the ground, you just explode the ground. You're protected from the shield. You get launched in the air and, and the enemies get hurt. hurt. It's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. I Obviously, it depends that. on the shield you have. If you got like a pot lid, it's probably going to break. But if you have a better That's shield, cool. you can do it a few so, times. So the whole thing was... I was told to fuse the seed pods or whatever to my arrows for light so I can shoot it in a cave. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't know how to do that because I didn't have the fuse yeah. uh, mechanic yet. And I'm like, I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to do that. What am I supposed to do? So I fused one of those seed things to a rock, lit it, and carried that around. That was <laughs> nice. my flashlight. <laughs> That's I've awesome. I've made some of the dumbest fusions for weapons, like just the longest weapons I can possibly think of. Also, have you done... Like a sword and a mushroom? No. <laughs> Do a sword and a mushroom because usually the last hit on an enemy sends the enemy flying. It goes like <laughs> oh, and wow. they fly through the air. It's, I did a great. I did a big long stick with like a skeleton arm on the end of it. That was pretty funny. 8 bit Lego says fuse a mine cart to a shield. I you saw get that. like a skateboard. I saw that on TikTok. That was pretty it's amazing because cool. it shrinks it down, but you get like a skateboard. <laughs> really <it's> cool. <laughs> so you can jump on and just run. That's great. Man, I've built some. So I I went to I went into one of the chasms. You know how there's the chasm. You probably all saw the same chasm uh, where you land, the big red hole in the ground, and you can't get down into it until you have a way of getting down there safely. But I went down to the chasm. Let me tell you, it's wild down there. When you go, I don't want to ruin it, but it's wild. I went down there and I was like. I don't feel like I should be here. It's like it's uncomfortable, scared. weird. Can like you the ninth to circle send out whenever you want? Well, you, you can warp to... out through your map. So, okay. but you, it's like you're going down, down, down. You can't ascend because the ceiling's oh, so really? high up. It's like uh, a whole new world down there. I don't even want to And go it down is there completely yet. different. Too scary. But there is a reason why I was saying there's this. Some shady oh, characters. There's a whole there. bunch of Zonai parts down there. So I was building all kinds of weird stuff. And I built like, I built basically a giant skateboard with a control stick in the middle and I'm like driving it through like this landscape down there. It's skateboard with a control stick in the middle and I'm like driving it through like this landscape down there and I was like, this is the coolest thing in the world. Like driving over Amazing. enemies and driving like up hills. Obviously, I, I have like one battery. I still haven't upgraded my battery, but it was it's wild down there so now that i'm down there i'm like well this is the whole game for me now i never want to leave here so <laughs> that's Dude. cool tears well, of the nice. tears of the kingdom is what uh it's what um banjo kazooie nuts and bolts should have been yes uh <laughs> oddly enough banjo kazooie the whole game built on that was so frustrating to build that stuff and here it's just like oh stick it together and that's it yeah it really um, is brilliant the uh have any of you gotten stuck on an island in, or think you've gotten stuck on an island in the sky I've only been on the one. Not an island, but I got stuck somewhere in the sky. Yeah. How did you get down? I, um, well, it's a whole thing. So go, please go right ahead. So I was up there with uh, a character, and it was like basically like it was like the first time they're teaching you how to do like a balloon. And like I went up in this balloon, and I didn't have. You I said I've been taught to do a balloon. Yeah. Well, you said really? I could. You said that I could say some of the abilities oh yeah right? no it's so fine like, go right ahead so like i didn't have the paraglider yet and i was yeah. like and that was like driving me crazy because I, I was like where like, the hell is I, this the whole time thing? i was like when are they going to give <laughs> yeah, it to me ex exactly yeah, i jumped and, off of some high things thinking i can here's, slide, here's like, a yeah. non-spoiler for the paraglider just do this follow the story that's all you got to do right yeah. no extra he's not hidden somewhere just do this i, 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 I knew i would get it right? eventually yeah, yeah. Just, i like, figured they would give it to you very early on and they do you just and then yeah, like i said I you get to the breaking point of the four things on a map and i'm like 
Goodbye. And then that's when you can <laughs> finally do do whatever you want and not have to worry about the yeah. main stuff. That's what I'm because I was like on. before I really go wild, I need the paraglider because I want to fall from places oh, yeah. safely because I got stuck somewhere. So. Yeah. But anyway, go ahead. So I yeah. So basically, you go up in this balloon. And you have to like light the thing on fire right in the middle. And it like tastes like a hot air balloon. Mm -hmm. So you're up there and I was with somebody and like you see what you need to see when you're up there. And then the character's like, I'm going to stay here for a while. You can use a paraglider to get down. And I was like, no, I can't. Uh, and I jumped. <laughs> I was like, oh, they must have given me the paraglider with no <laughs> pomp and circumstance. Like like every Zelda game, you know, when you get an item and they don't tell you you got it. Yeah. So I jumped and, of course, died. And then, like, I had to do the whole section again, which wasn't oh. bad, but I did it. And then it was like, and then, so then I was like, well, let me just kill the fire. So I took, like, a, a little He's chew jelly on and, like, I put out the fire. <laughs> And then it like cut that out. It like faded to black, and yeah. it was like the character, you know, that you were supposed to protect, whatever. So like then it was the two of us on the ground. Luckily, neither of us died. And then uh, and that's how I got down to the ground safely. If you must know. So I did. Thank you. I did one of those uh, rewind the blocks. You know, you see a block fall from the sky. I jumped on it, rewound up to the top, and there was a treasure chest up there. On like uh, it was probably as big as this room. It was like a little nothing. And I'm so up there, and I'm like. That. How do I how do I get down? And I'm like looking around and I'm like, there's nothing here. How do I get down? I don't have the paraglider. I was like, is there water? And I looked at the map and I'm like, I don't see any water. So I jo jumped and I dove and I'm looking as I'm falling. I'm like, oh, there's nothing here. And I just head first into the ground. <laughs> so I'm back up there again. And I could have loaded the save from before because it was down on the ground like five minutes ago. But I was like, there's, I'm sure there's a way to get down. Yeah. So I had one of those Zonai birds, the big bird platform. Oh, yeah. And I put that down. But, you know, you have to angle it just right. So it, there's no railing or anything. It just right. teeters on the edge. So I teetered it enough to make it fall. And it fell. And I tried to jump after it. And it, I jumped on it. And it, like, tipped backwards. And I fell off of it. Oh, and, died. No. and I was like, all right, I got it this time. Teetered it on the edge. It flew down. Then I did rewind and called it back up, jumped on it, brilliant, and, and then psh, and then it takes off and I steered it down, wow, brilliant. And I'm soaring like through like uh, there's like an outpost, an enemy outpost, and I'm like walking on the sides of the wings and the tail of them, and I was like, this is so damn cool. I love I love just like stepping forwards and backwards, yeah, and just like and yes, peacefully yes. Had, it was that was so great. That was a huge ah, uh, I hate this phrase aha uh -huh moment, but it was just a huge moment for me when. The first time you get those gliders, you're still up on the in like the very first area. And there's the section where like there's a track there. And mm -hmm. like most normal people would be like, oh, that's where you put the, the glider. And I'm sure most normal people did that. <laughs> Me? Nope. I was like, that's weird. There's nothing here. There's no like carts here that would fit into the track. So what what is that yeah. for? So I went and like I put two fans, uh, one front and one back on this <laughs> on this glider. And I was like. I hopped on it and I smacked it and it would just like stay stood there. And I was like, okay, I got to think about this different. So then I would like pick it up and like put it like teetering on the edge and then jump on real quick. And yeah. the, so the time I actually got it to work, I jumped on, but it went straight down and I like turned to like, do, I don't know what. And like link grabbed on and started yeah. climbing yeah. it. So I'm climbing this as it's falling down and I just climbed to the, to the back and it tilts it out yep. and then it straightened out and then I rocked it all the way down that's and great. I landed right on the doorstep of where oh, you're supposed man, to be and I was like this game's gonna be incredible and like I didn't even mean to do that. I saw a TikTok of somebody fighting with one of those Zonai birds where they got on it and it tips over and it's like spiraling through the air and they're jumping off of it and using the paraglider to slow that. down and then dive back onto that. it and try and correct it. And they get it at he the end and they it. fly off. And I was like, that's so cool. When you get to that part with the tracks where you're first riding the Zonai bird, um, that ride from that top back to where you were, it's amazing. It's yeah. an amazing moment because you're like, I can't believe I'm doing this. Like, this is really awesome. It's yeah, it's amazing how we all had different experiences with that first part, but it's still so tailor made to teach you and grab yeah. that uh, like that wonder from you. Yeah, Freddie uh, Pro says they did the same exact thing you did. Nice. <laughs> I I wasted four fans on one of those birds because I was like, put them on the wings, and then like, whoop. so <laughs> and then so I was like, all right, I need like I'll put one right in the middle underneath, so it's three straight across. Whoop. 
I was like, what am I supposed to Before oh, oh. I had Paraglider, I did the same thing. There was I saw a treasure chest that was on a mountain. Um, and it had spikes around the top of the mountain, so I couldn't climb up to it. And I was like, I'll oh, I'll build a bird with fans on it. So I put fans on, you know, head, tail, two wings, stood in the middle and turned the fans on, and the bird was just like backwards yeah. and over. I was like, I'm not meant to get this yet. I will come back to it later. Um, and we were talking about the Kuro the Koroks and uh Ker Kirby. I heard from you two. The Koroks that you first meet up on the island and they're like, I miss my friend, blah, blah, blah. Oh, did yeah, you yeah. re, did you, what's the word? Reunite them? I did. It okay. took me a while to figure out. Cause like you can, um, uh, you can use ultra hand to move one of them, but not the other. Yes. You can only move the, the ones with the big bags. Like you can, um, uh, you can use ultra hand to move one of them, but not the other. Yes. You can only move the, the ones with the big bags. You can move. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The one, who and you can attach things to them like they're just an object. You can put whatever the hell you want. Well, yeah, I made yeah. I made a platform, and because I because they the hadn't so gotten them, and off. I was wondering. I if didn't. Oh, I got those. I, I saw. Oh, you did. Oh, okay. I just didn't think like you a, could do anything with oh, them. I was I like, I'm gonna go see his friend, and he'll come over. I reunited <laughs> two of them. I and didn't know. Yeah, right. He's over there. He's over there. I didn't know what you had said that you can do with them and I'm, i won't mention that here but like i've reunited four like i reunited two of them twice you know what i mean like i yes. reunited four completely two pairs darn it um i didn't even think but to just, reunite them i was just like screw you guys well if, me you're like what like, he said your friend oh yeah that's rough you ain't getting this yeah well when the guy said that. he says something like i'm so tired i can't move or yeah. something like that i was like oh okay he wants me to move him i get it um also uh so lazy is anybody else finding the characters in this game to be pretty funny there's some dialogue that they have and some personalities that i was i'm not like laugh out loud or anything i'm like I, some of these are quirky funny I'm, I'm probably not paying enough attention to the dialogue at this point Can, has that... anybody gotten to the sign guy yeah oh yeah because yeah, yeah. him i he's great i love that guy because he's so dumb and i i'm sure we're gonna see him a million times and I'm excited for that because I don't know. When does this I, take I'll, place? I won't spoil what what the sign guy um, has you ground. do, but uh, I love his personality. I love like how dedicated he is to this stupid idea that he's doing. And he doesn't yeah. see how he's being used. Uh, I just wait. Love wait. Him. Hudson's not a bad guy. Hudson Construction. He did Terrytown. Are you talking crap on Hudson? Uh, I'm Maybe not I didn't. Well, I didn't meet Hudson in this game. Maybe he's let power go to his. I'm head. not saying Hudson's being a bad guy, but. This guy out there that's, we'll just say, doing the job for Hudson. The guy doesn't have to stand there and do that job for Hudson. And that's what your job is to show this guy to be I'm like. Sure Hudson's paying him something. Well, maybe. I don't know. But the guy's great. Also, the, uh, what is he? Uh, a pelican? The pelican guy? He's in uh, the town where you, in the, uh, the, the little, uh, what is it? Lookout, whatever it is. You know, where. Oh, uh, lookout landing. Yeah. Or... He's there right by the tower. I'd... I haven't met the Pelican guy. So, you know how you go in the tower I, yeah, and you fly up him. in the air with the cord and blah, blah, blah. You come back down. Yeah. Then. Uh, that's right where I saved the game there. And that's where right after that. If you go back to the tower, there's a Pelican guy there from another town. All My right. favorite character Delicious. in Zelda ever. Love oh. the man. The little noises. Whoever the voice actor is. He channeled his inner pelican because the noises he's making <laughs> nice. are great. He's so good. I'll his look is good. Oh, I love him. I've seen him once. We talked for like 30 seconds. I'm like, this is the best character I've ever seen. Is he is he like chicken boo? I I guess a little bit, but he knows he's a well, I would imagine he knows as a man. I think it's a pelican. I don't know. He's some kind of big bird. It's not like uh, one of the other birds in Zelda. It's very clearly a regular bird, but um, it's great. And he's obviously making deliveries because what else would he do? But uh Oh my god. Is that a stork? What are you talking about? Maybe it's a stork. 